Excellent. Hey, thanks for tuning into the Rexa Show. Today I got a tip for you on how to get different console games into different folders. As an example, let's say you want to play Marvel vs. Capcom 2 in your arcade and get it to run on main. So what do you do? Well, you play it on Dreamcast. But you don't want to have that Dreamcast folder or a Nintendo folder or whatever other options in here. You just want to boot right to arcade and you want all your games in your arcade. I'm going to show you how to put different console games into your arcade folder, such as a Dreamcast game. You can have that Dreamcast Marvel vs. Capcom. Maybe you want to put Killer Instinct in your arcade, but you can't get it to run on, on MAME. So you put a different version in. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, you can use some game lists, I believe, or collections. I'm not too familiar with those options. But this method will show you how RetroPie works from a configuration text file standpoint. And it'll give you some insight onto how the user menus work. All right, let's get started. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, what I have here is my arcade on a Latte Panda Alpha running Ubuntu with RetroPie on it. This process is going to be very similar to a Raspberry Pi, but some of the directories are going to be named a little different and the locations of the files might be slightly off a little bit. You'll be able to find those and you'll be able to SSH them from your Raspberry Pi to where you need them after you correct them in Notepad++. We're going to edit two files. One of them is going to be the ES systems file. One of them is going to be the emulators config file. Let's start with the ES systems file. Now in the ES systems file, we're going to add file types so that our game list and our user menu can read those games and they'll show up. To get to that file, I'm going to start in other locations here. Now on the Raspberry Pi, you probably just do uh, home, I, or, or excuse me, ETC, um, and I can't remember the exact location, but you'll be able to figure it out. I'm going to go to other locations. I'm going to go to computer. I'm going to go to ETC, emulation stations. Here's my ES systems config file right here. I'm going to copy this, paste it to my desktop, and work off of there, and then copy it back to this folder and overwrite it. Copy it to my desktop. I'm going to edit with Notepad++. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find my arcade section. And I'm going to add the extension, the file extensions, for Dreamcast. In this example, I'm going to add Marvel vs. Capcom 2 from Dreamcast into my arcade folder. To help me understand what extensions I need from Dreamcast, I'm actually going to go find my Dreamcast folder, which is right here, and I'm going to add all these in. I probably don't need all of them because uh, I don't have all these file extensions in use in Dreamcast, but simple to just add them. So I'm going to highlight them. I'm going to do the lowercase first and then the uppercase. I don't think it matters, but I'm going to do that anyway. Keep it in sequence. Back to my arcade folder. Paste those in. I'm going to go get the capitalized ones. Back up to arcade. Looks correct there. I'm going to hit save. Close out. Now I'm going to overwrite the file. Place file. Yes. Now if you're using Linux and you're trying to copy and paste but it doesn't allow you, you might have some uh, authentication or uh, some permissions issues uh, in doing that. So you can always do it from the terminal. And then you can do uh, the sudo copy and paste function. Just Google that, and then you can uh, copy and paste it and overwrite it. Or you can open up the permissions of your folders by using uh, chd777 commands or something to that nature. But you got to be careful with that. Now that that's done, I'm actually going to go into my ROMs folder. I'm going to grab my Dreamcast game. I'm going to copy all the, all the files here. I'm going to go back to my arcade folder. I'm going to paste these all in here. Now I'm going to open up RetroPie. 
I'm going to scroll down in my arcade. And there's the game right there, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Now, as you're aware, if I try and run it, I only have certain options to select from here. I don't have Raycast. So I'm going to show you now how to add Raycast into that menu. So we're going to go back to our other locations, Computer. This time we're going to go into Opt, RetroPie, Configs, Arcade, and then here's the emulator's config that we need to work on. I copy this, paste it to my desktop. I'm going to open with Notepad++. So here's all your emulators right here that are listed in that menu when you hit the A button to select an emulator for that ROM. We need to add Raycast to this list. In order to get the script here, an easy way is to bring up a Dreamcast emulators config file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Dreamcast folder and open that one up first. I'm going to copy and paste this into a different directory because I can't use the same emulators.config uh, on the desktop or it'll overwrite. I'm just going to put this one in the documents. I'm going to rename it emulators-dc. Open with Notepad++. And here's my emulator right here that I use, LR Raycast. So all I need to do, copy this part right here, the top part, copy this. I'm going to go back to my emulators config. I'm going to add that line in. I'm going to save this. Close out. I'm going to go back to my arcade folder with my emulators config, and I'm going to overwrite it. Now I'm going to open up RetroPie. I'm going to scroll down. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I'm going to launch it. I'm going to open up the menu. I'm going to select a different emulator, and there you'll see right there, LR Raycast is now in the Arcade Folder Options menu for emulators to select from. I hit OK. I launch. And up comes my Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Hey, listen, I hope this tutorial helped you. I hope it gave you a little insight to RetroPie. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, ask in the comments. Um, good luck and thanks for watching the Rexer Show.